Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Okay, so I learnt how to make flatbread the other week with just flour, salt and water. That's just like how they did it years ago. So no olive oil, yoghurt or anything like that. I thought this was a useful bread to learn how to do because there's only three ingredients. And you never know when you might have to knock some bread up in quick time. So this video is just how to do it. And then the next video, I'm going to show you what you can do with wild garlic leaves and some sesame oil. You could use chives or spring onions for that one. You could use anything really. But that'll be the next video. I just wanted to keep them short and sweet. Okay, so let's make some flatbread. Now I've just got plain flour. That in there is a bay leaf, if you're wondering what that is in there. It's supposed to keep the critters away. But if you buy flour, just put it in your freezer for about five days and then hopefully all the critter eggs will be all gone. Okay, so let's start. Now I've got these big gloves here, and <laughs> massive, I've got these big, big gloves to put on, just for when my hands get a bit sticky, because it's going to be a bit difficult this video in it, but I thought it was a useful thing to know, so I'll try and do it. Okay, so what you're going to need is a cup of flour. So this is just plain flour. Okay. So I'm just going to sift that through there and I'll come back to you. I'm just using about half a teaspoon of salt. We like salt in this house, so. And then the quantity of water is, you just use a third of whatever you use for the flour. So this is a third of a cup of warm water, not cold, not boiling. So let's say if you wanted to do a big batch and you did three cups of flour, then you would just have one cup of water, or just shy of that. Okay, so we just pop that in. Oh, I need a fork. Okay, so just mix it all together now. If you need more water, then you can just put a little bit more in. Right, I'm going to have to get my hands to this. So I'm going to get my gloves on. So just roll it round with your hands. I might need a touch more water, only a little bit, there you go, that's fine now, just a minute, that was just trying to get it all together, so we'll get this out of the bowl now. flour down so it won't stick. Now I don't have a flour dredger so I just use a spoon and a bowl and then whatever's left over can just go back into the into the container. Okay so what you're going to need to do is just knead it, just play around with it, knead it for about five minutes. So I'm going to need my other hand. Once you've kneaded it for a bit, just roll it out into a sausage and cut it in half. Now this here, I'm just going to put in the fridge for another day because I'm only going to make three. 
I'll make one plain and two with garlic leaves. So this needs to be split now into three. Roughly at the same size. So we're going to roll these three into three separate balls. And I'm just going to put this in a container in the fridge for another day. You could actually make up a big batch and freeze if you've not already frozen your flour first though. If you need to pinch a bit of dough out of one to give to the other to make them all even, that's fine. So I'll just roll one out. <laughs> now my rolling's not great. It normally looks like Australia after I've finished, but let's give it a go. There you go, mine's rolled out now. Try and do it as thin as you can. These aren't very big, so you could make bigger dough balls if you wanted to. Because this is flatbread, you don't need to let it prove for like 20 minutes and then give it a bash around and then another 20 minutes. So this is good to go now. So the pan's on the stove and it should be hot enough now. So you don't need any oil, you just need a dry pan. So I'm just going to place my flatbread in the pan now. So now we just let it cook. And then we'll turn it over and then we'll have a taste test. It's getting little tiny bubbles there, can you see? Now, if you use self-raising flour, you would just get more bubbles. Okay, so it's only been about a minute, but we can flip it over. See, it's got some nice little brown spots on. Oh, look, it's puffing up. So I think bread and flour is going to get really expensive, isn't it? So if we can knock these up, because hopefully we've all got some flour. I bet they made it like this around the campfire on a big stone or something in the olden days. This is puffing up nicely, actually. So no oil, because you never know, we might not even be able to get oil soon. I think this is done now. Right, I'll get a board and then we'll cut it open. So it's hard to do this one handed. Okay, so there you go, there's some flatbread. Let's taste. That's fine. And if it didn't have those plastic gloves on, it would even be better because I'd be able to work it a bit better. So yeah, that's just enough salt. So that's something you can try, just making your own flatbread. Flour, salt and water. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching everyone. God bless. Stay safe.